Good afternoon everybody and it's back to cycling. Ilio Kesa or Kesa and his mm, shenanigans at the Vuelta San Juan in Argentina. Can I avoid talking about it? Probably not. So what am I talking about? Well if you haven't seen the news cycling fans last week Ilio Kesa of the De Kernick Quick Step Cycling Team and a few of his teammates were out on a training ride and they stopped at a cafe and a waitress asked for a selfie. So she stood in front of them, they stood behind her, somebody took a photograph and in the photograph Ilio Kessa makes a gesture, shall we say, uh, behind the young lady indicating that he was having sex with her and this appears in the photograph. Now cue lots of comment in the media, cue lots of complaints, cue one more issue for sponsors to take into consideration. Ilio Kessa, what the hell is the matter with you? Ilio Kessa is 36 and I saw him ride at the Ghent Six Day event a couple of years ago uh, and he didn't win the overall event that was won by Badley Wiggins and Mark Cavendish but Ilio Kessa and Elia Viviani his partner at the time did win a couple of the individual events and I can remember Ilio Kessa riding round and round that valley of velodrome while the crowd went Ilio, Ilio, Ilio and he raked in the applause. Ilio Kessa is a superstar in Belgium partly because of his exploits uh, over the years in six day eventing and partly because of his performance as a very very good domestique for Etix Quickstep which is now De Koenig Quickstep. So it's Difficult to understand for people who aren't perhaps overly familiar with cycling just how much of a superstar Ilio Kessa really is because when you see him in most of the general stage races because he's a domestic he's not a big star but he is a big star outside of that and he's certainly a big star in Belgium. He's 36 years old, the waitress was 18. She's old enough to be your daughter, you're old enough to be her father Ilio. And your teammates think this is oh so funny. Now, what is the matter with cyclists? Not, not that they make such stupid gestures. They're, uh, we all make stupid gestures. We've all been guilty of playing the fool. I don't think I've ever stood behind a waitress and mimed undertaking a sexual act, but you know, we've all said silly things, we've all done things that we later regret. But these people are in the public eye. These people are going to be photographed and those photographs are going to appear all over social media. What is it about them that they do not understand that you cannot, you should not behave like this and if you do behave like this the likelihood is that it's going to appear in a photograph and that is going to fuck up your career. Now it wasn't so bad what Ilya Kessa did. Don't get me wrong it was very bad. He subsequently apologized, he was subsequently thrown out of the Volta de San Juan and he was fined by the organizers and the waitress has made a complaint to the police and so Ilio Kessa's punishment may not be over yet. But the worst thing about this case was that Patrick Lefebvre, the team manager of De Koenig Quickstep, then decided to make some public statements to the effect that, yes, I know Ilio's been a naughty boy, but I think this waitress is trying to milk the event for her money, for some money. Now, the riders are bad enough and at 36, Ilio Kessa should know better. But Patrick Lefebvre is 70 if he's a day. Now I know age doesn't bring wisdom. I know that the world is full of stupid old people and Patrick Lefebvre is clearly one of them. 
But why, oh why, make what is a terrible situation a hundred times worse by making stupid, crass comments in the media? What he should have done was say, Elio Kessa has seriously broken the rules of this cycling team. He has misbehaved. He will be given appropriate punishment by the team. And he should have been fined by the team a substantial amount and treated much, much the way that a footballer who transgresses is, is fined a serious amount by their team because they are employed by the team and if they misbehave, the team should take appropriate action. But what does De Koenig Quick Step team members do? The following day, they refuse to get up on the podium. They say it's because they're tired because of all the publicity. But it's, it's cocking a snook at the people who organise the race, the people who pay for the race, and the spectators who want to see this kind of race. And more importantly, it's holding up two fingers and cocking a snook at the sponsors. Now, we know how much trouble professional cycling is in. We know that sponsors are walking away left, right and centre. We know how difficult it is to attract a new sponsor. And here is De Koenig, a company that nobody has ever heard of, a Belgian uh, window and door company, I think, who see the opportunity of getting some really good publicity throughout Europe and the world by sponsoring one of the top cycling teams. And what happens? Three, four, five months after they start sponsoring, this is all over social media and forever and a day. What will you see when you Google De Koenig? You'll probably see Ilio Kaiser and sexual act with waitress in Argentina. De Koenig make windows and door frames or whatever it is. Now they have put, what have they put? Maybe they've put seven, eight million euros, maybe 10 million euros, difficult to say, into De Koenig Quick Step. And they are a new sponsor and they're going to be thinking, what the fuck have we done? Whose idea was it to pour all this money into a team that has just made us look ridiculous throughout the world of cycling? A world of cycling that has never previously heard of De Koenig now knows everything about us because Ilya Kessa decides to mime a sexual act behind a waitress young enough to be his daughter in a selfie that is going to spread all over social media forever and a day. Oh, professional cycling, what is the matter with you? The big problem with Team Sky's um, performance at the time of Chris Froome's um, uh, salbutamol case in, in the Vuelta, as well as the suspicion over Bradley Wiggins and the famous Jiffy Bag, was not so much what they had done. It was the inability of... Uh, I'm only going to say Richard Branson. I've forgotten. I've forgotten his name. It was Sir Dave Brailsford. The inability of Sir Dave Brailsford to make sensible, contrite, uh, honest comments about the situation instead of pouring oil on the fire and making things a hundred times worse. So it's the team managers. Patrick Lefebvre, Al Arp, Dave Brailsford, who makes this situation a hundred times worse. And they have now announced that their uh, team members will receive uh, appropriate training in how to treat people with respect and how not to rub your willies up against the bums of waitresses in social media snaps. How about giving Patrick Lefebvre, I know he's 70, I know he's a bit past it, but how about giving Patrick Lefebvre a bit of training about how to behave, about how to treat the media, and about how to deal with your employees who transgress during their day-to-day -day activity? And one thing you notice about professional cyclists, by the way, is that they always wear their team kit. They are, it's probably part of their contract that they wear their team kit so that the sponsor's name gets as much exposure as you can possibly get. And so what do you see in this photograph, apart from this poor waitress with her face blacked out, and Ilio Kessa with his hand behind his head, miming a sexual act, you see the name of the sponsor and the colour of the sponsor's kit, De Koenig, quick step all over the photograph. Oh, and little, by the way. Big on quality, little on prices. <laughs> Big on quality, little on prices. Oh, Ilio, 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 what have you done? 
see you next time.